At the beginning of 2020, none of us could have foreseen how much of our lives would be lived out inside four walls. This year started out like any other new year, with people around the world sending their hopes and dreams and intentions heavenward at the stroke of midnight. This is where I worked at the beginning of 2020, in aviation for a semi-private jet company with people that I absolutely loved and adored. My work family were pretty cool cats, but something was percolating in the air. And almost overnight, the aviation industry became more like a ghost town. People stopped traveling and we were asked to stay at home, first for a few weeks and then months and then more months. And then we just lost track of time. The lower half of people's faces just disappeared one day. Well, actually, we were just asked to wear a mask. It's really not that big of a deal, but some people had a major problem with it. Most of our lives were lived out on screens and through windows, and our homes were where we did most of our growing. And we couldn't see our friends, so we had to make new ones. And we realized that life was happening all around us, whether we were paying attention or not. Oh look, new friends. We learned to appreciate the kindness of neighbors. And the gentle touch of a hand on your back on a warm summer day. Or a cool winter night. But also the importance of social distancing and how nice it is to fall asleep on somebody's chest and wake up to a warm home-cooked meal, or maybe two. Sometimes we got so bored we had to invent new ways to entertain ourselves, and then we would just get in the car and go for a drive. We learned to be brave and to keep our head above water and to stay fluid and to be trusting and how happy nature made us and all the little things that we never had time to notice when we were busy working our lives away. We had to create new paths and new adventures. We learned to appreciate art and to be inspired to create and to draw and to paint and to rest and to stand up for what we believe in. To march and to kneel. We learned what side we're on and what side we're not. Who wanted peace and who wanted violence. We learned to protect others and to reach out when we needed help. We learned when it was time to speak up and when it was time to listen. And for a while, it felt like the whole country was on fire. It was hard for many people to breathe. But if we've learned anything inside our four walls this past year, perhaps it's that things take time, especially healing. But there's always a light at the end of the tunnel.